For people who believe in an afterlife, it's hard to imagine what life is like on the other side. The question is, are there big fluffy clouds and lots of white light? What's it really like? Phil Quinn is a medium and life guide who says his gift has enabled him to actually see and experience heaven, and he's here to share what he's learned. This is great, Phil. Thank you so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me. Phil, so, you are the best. Yes, right. good to see you again. Great to yeah, see you. Let's tell us a little bit about your understanding and where this comes from. Um, my understanding of heaven is comes from the people that have already crossed over and it's the souls that communicate with me repeat this information to me and also visually what i've been able to see all right phil it's a little bit off the center here and yep. i asked you before just so i didn't yes, throw you did. a curve at you can you sense in this room where we are today when we're doing this program this afternoon that there's there's spirits souls. around us yes anytime typically when i meet people i often see people standing behind them can you give us an idea of what's going on it's there they watch over you trying to see how your day's going just that's what happens from heaven and, and not just communicating with you they're not you bothering know. anybody they're just not bothering around. anybody they're, mo they're mostly just observing really yes yeah. so what do they what do they do in heaven i mean when, when i mean, again as you believe when you yeah. cross over what's happening up there well heaven is is very much like earth without the violence the war the pollution all those things are gone there's no disease and you, they take on a role of guiding you here on your path about mm -hmm. uh, trying to accomplish any missions you have set forth why it's school why it's career why it's relationships and our family constantly gives us advice are we talking white fluffy clouds I mean what if, what do you think are yeah you... Uh, not exactly white fluffy clouds but it is in its perfection so wow. um, I, if you can just imagine earth in its complete uh, perfection that's mm -hmm. how heaven is so yeah. when when I when they're what are they they're they're watching over us all the time mm -hmm. right now do they ever pa do they ever see that we're doing okay we'll come back later or are they always there there's certain they're not, times they look closer yeah when what? you're in the shower they're not there. <laughs> <laughs> not in my shower <laughs> so they're not but uh yeah th when things are stressful for you your family will tend to come around um or if you're having a happy event or if it's a birth of a child they'll be there with you if your loved one's already crossed over or for weddings and things like that. Right. I yeah. love hearing that. Yeah, That's yeah. great. Let's talk about angels. Yes. Angels in heaven. Yes. And what roles in heaven. do they play? Um, they're the, angels in heaven are the guardians of heaven, if you can imagine that, and and that of earth as well. And they play a major role in protecting um, earth and the people that are on it. All right. So now we say to somebody, hey, she finally earned her wings. Yes. You know? Do, do how do how do angels become angels? How do they? How is a regular person be a regular person up there, and an angel yeah. become an angel? Do they all Great become question. angels, or no. Angels are created. They've never been in a human form, and guides have once lived on Earth. Mm -hmm. So there's there's two separations. Yeah. Wow. So they're specifically created. Now I heard sometime, and again this gets into a whole other thing that we can't do here, and I'm throwing yes, curves at and you. And you're throwing it. No, but I did have somebody <laughs> say to me one time. We unfortunately we hear about people who let's just say they make decisions to not carry on and not have children. Yes. Or let's say they make decisions to stop a life from coming into this world. Yes. I had someone tell me one time, actually a priest, uh -huh. who said it's important that people pray to those angels did not, mm -hmm. that did not have a chance to come into our lives. Yes. That you got to explain this yeah. to me. Does well, it make sense or you know, what? Uh, prayer is a, is a form of meditation. Okay. And for people, for souls um, that have already crossed over or passed, um, the prayer connects you close with that soul, regardless of whatever your religious belief is. Mm -hmm. And um, your angels, again, will facilitate information to the person that you've lost and vice versa. So what about the souls that have already crossed over? What are they doing? How are they spending their time? Do they have uh, jobs? Are yeah. there assignments? Yes, they, um, part of their job would be to look after us okay. and uh, come and visit us. And, and then part of them, if you were interested in history, you can study history in the, of the earth. And it's very cool how it's all set up. So there's, there's no boredom. Now we do, we do. I like when you were talking about the power of prayer. Yes. And you can really. Can, let's just say you're not really focused. Like yeah. I, I will say that you know I went through a dark, a dark time in my life, and mm -hmm. I found that I really couldn't focus. And yes. I felt like not that God had turned away, but I just had mm -hmm. a really hard time communicating. Yes. What's the if you can't like if you can't do the the regular prayers that you were yeah. taught as kids? Yeah. Can you just have a conversation Absolutely. with God or a conversation yes. with who do you talk to? I mean, yeah. it's everybody's opinions different. Well, and again, everyone's opinion is different. Some people talk to the people that they've lost. Some people speak directly to. Their, their God and who they believe in and some people just talk to their angels and guides and ask for clarity and communication of how to get to the end of this path that they're on and particularly that when you're in a dark time mm -hmm. um, people often c do not feel connected with their higher power mm -hmm. um, but God never abandons us mm -hmm. so the souls are always with us they're mm -hmm. always around us we just may not be able to feel or sense them at that time but I'm sorry, T, mm -hmm. but, but God also understands those times when maybe we're having a hard time Absolutely. connecting. Absolutely. So we're yes. not turning away from him. He no, knows no. we're just having a tough time and he's Correct. always there. Yep. 
I'm sorry, T. I, I see the emails coming in already. <laughs> where are we going with this? But I do want to ask you because you're the expert. Yeah. What do we need to know to maybe get to the other side? Um, well, there's no there's no getting to it. But the, the, part of the thing is if you accomplish your contract that you're setting up, and one of the thing is is do no harm to to others, and uh, that brings you to a different elevation on the other side. So there's not, to my knowledge, a judgment if you're going here or if you're going there. It's just a matter of when you get to the other side, how how did you grow? What did you learn? What did you achieve? And because you get to look back on your life and see, you know, the good and the bad. Yeah, of make it. the best of it, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, powerful. try to be conscious on a daily basis. Powerful, powerful stuff, Phil. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you guys for really, having me. It's great really seeing you guys. once again. Yes. We are Always. definitely, definitely blessed. If you want more info on Phil Quinn, this man is amazing. Go to WTNH.com and click on Connecticut Style.